I'm just taking a picture of Amanda, and I'm going to upload it to Facebook. Oh, that's cool. But do you know how much work goes into the transfer of energy you just described? Well, I know that the idea starts in my brain, and then motor neurons and down signals all the way down to my hand. To press this little button and take a gorgeous picture of Amanda. Yeah. And then, in order for that to be possible, light waves have to travel from me to her at 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second, aka the speed of light. Wow, that's fast. Just the frequency of the wave? Well, frequency is measured by waves over second. In, the, in the digital camera, digital cameras are built into everything these days. Laptops, computers, cell phones, even old cameras that use film. Everything's digital. It's a lot easier to transfer information that way, I guess. Yeah, when you have a digital camera, you can see all the take photos right away. There's no need to wait for film to go. And in my case, I want to upload to Facebook right away. Too bad I don't have a robot to do that for me. That's the one part that takes a while. Transfer the images to my computer or my camera and then upload them to Facebook. Well then, let's go. Now, since we're using a cord, we're going to plug it into the USB port, and my picture is going to be transferring, but it's not going to be electromagnetic. Oh, because electro my, the electromagnetic waves happen when it's wireless, right? Yeah, look, the computer detected our camera. Let's upload some photos. All right, now let's review. First, my, bra my brain says message sends messages through my motor neurons to my hands, allowing me to press this button right here. <laughs> Next, my, my camera saves the images onto my memory card. It does this by converting light to pixels with a semiconductor device that records light to pixels. Then, I use my USB cord to transfer my images onto my desktop. Once they're on my desktop, I log into my Facebook, like I did so here, and I click on to add photos. Next, I search through all my files and find the pictures that I want of gorgeous Amanda, and I hit upload, and my picture appears like these. Digital cameras affect our society in many different ways. You are so right, Demetrius. They affect us socially and how we work and play and manage our daily lives. They're part of our jobs in advertising, as well as professional photography. The invention of digital cameras have made photographers' jobs much easier. Now they can take as many pictures as they want, and when they don't come out right, they don't have to worry about wasting film. They can just delete the photos once they're done. It also affects us economically how our money and goods are traded. Without pictures, it would be a lot harder to see what you're buying in places like eBay and for advertisements in the paper for places like Target and Walmart. It affects us ethically and morally. It can affect the general rules of a group of people about what is right or wrong. For example, pictures taken from digital cameras can appear in local news stations, and those news stations can use their broadcasts to make people feel a certain way about current events. Things like war, poverty, and murders all tie into our ethical beliefs.